What's up everybody, it's Onglore, and welcome to today's video, which I will be doing a GR93 in Diablo 3. With season 17 just around the corner, I wanted to wrap up my season journey with you guys of reaching GR100. And season 17 PTR will be starting, I believe, Friday, this Friday, uh, April 5th. So I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that will be coming in season 17. I'm not going to go over every single bug fix or, you know, things like that. I just really want to just touch on the things that jumped out at me. So first off, we're going to have Torment 14, 15, and 16, which will be added to the game. And I was actually a little bit excited about this at first, but at the same time, I was thinking to myself, well, with uh, Torment 16, I really hope that all builds can handle it and still beat it within, you know, the two to five minute mark. So we can keep farming up our death breaths, or if we need more guild or more guild, more gear to complete our builds and hopefully get some more drops. I just hope it doesn't take that much more time. We'll just have to see. Also, por portals left by treasure goblins may occasionally lead somewhere utterly ridiculous. So the first thing that came to mind when I read that was, hmm, cow rifts, more rainbow rifts. I really don't know. So we're gonna have to see. And I was actually very pleasantly surprised by this one. Using an ancient or primal puzzle ring in the cube will produce a new result because seriously, if you get an ancient primal or puzzle ring, it's like whatever, but if you get a primal, me personally, I would want to punch my computer screen, but at least now it will produce a new result. So that's going to be really nice as well. And also one thing I was really pleasantly surprised to see was we're going to get five additional stash tabs. We don't have to pay for them or nothing. We're just going to get them. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, man, that's really cool because there's been a lot of times I'm such a horde in the game. You know, I just tend to save everything, which I shouldn't. And, yeah, so now we have more spaces. And also the theme overall. We know Season 16 was a season of royal grandeur, which was really nice. It opened up a lot of builds, just a lot of experimenting. And Season 17 is going to be the legacy of Nightmare Set Power. So I really don't know what to expect from that with the extra rings and all. We're just going to have to see. And also they added some new potions in the game. You know, it's it's new content. So it's, you know, it's really nice. I was really happy to see a lot of these things come. Changes, or not changes, but additions to Season 17. But the overall theme, the legacy of Nightmares, I'm just kind of... Like, you know, okay, cool, it's something different, you know, but I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more exciting because I know that it took a lot of extra time to invest in Season 17. So I will stop talking about that now. I just really want to just get it out there to you guys because, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by some of them or the things that will be coming in Season 17, which isn't far off. And I still don't know I'm going to play yet, but... Anyways, uh, this rift now, it's actually pretty decent, you know. I really want to get, the, uh, within this week, GRs 98 and 100 done with you guys. So I can actually say, hey, I did it with you guys. Because I've been talking about it for so long that the time is really coming fast. And I'm like, oh, wow, I better, just better get this done. So the only thing I really felt short on this season was meeting my Paragon. I really want to get 1,000 this season. So... Maybe that's something I can work on next season. And I actually did got to augment quite a few pieces of my gear, which I normally don't. Because normally I get to around GR, 90, not, not even 90, like 80, 85, then I kind of stop. But I'm really hoping season 17 I can meet all of those goals with you guys. And so far in this rift, I'm having, I'm not, not going to say I'm having it like really easy, but... I'm having a pretty good time here of keeping ahead of my time. And I really do hope to keep it that way. And I still have the issue. I don't know why I do this from time to time. I just find one mob. I just really tunnel it and stay on it and beat it when I should be going. I guess like when my time is this far ahead, I really don't think about it that much. But I just really need to get out of that habit. So when I, you know, doing my GR100s and above, I don't really have that luxury. So, ooh, when I got on this floor, I'm thinking to myself, oh, yeah, baby, here we go. I start licking my chops here because normally every single time I come to this floor, I am 
met with a great amount of mobs, elite, a lot of good density. Usually happens for me in this floor, and I'm really hoping that's the case. What I don't like is these bitch-ass trappers, because I swear to God, every time I'm trying to do something, and it's coming down to the last minute, these bitch-ass trappers are there, and something happens. So, I just want to give them the business right now. And at least I got a speed pile on here. I was really hoping for a power one or something. Because I usually like to, you know, skip a pylon and go forward and, you know, kill. And get uh, gather up all the mobs and drag them back to the pylon. So I don't feel like I'm wasting any time. But when it comes to the speed pile, I'm just, I'm just you know, just go grab it really quick and do what I need to do. And I think there's a, an elite hiding around that tree. Which I find really funny because it's like, you find these elites and they're kind of like hiding from you at times and they have all their homies and when their homies go down they just go hide. I always found that kind of entertaining because there's a lot of you and one of me. And wow, he actually is going down really fast that elite. I wasn't expecting it. I thought my uh, fire cycle hit with my COE but no, he just got blasted in the face. And this little prick right here was trying to hide between all these mobs. But I'm like, no, no, no. You're going to get the business too. So, overall, season 16, even though the it's coming to a close, I really had a lot of fun with you guys. I got about two more videos I'm going to do. GR98 and 100. And then I will be very satisfied with season 16 because I finally will be able to meet my goal with you guys. So, I'm just really stoked about it. Okay, so I'm doing what I was just talking about earlier. I just tunneled one mob, and yeah, I need to stop and go to the room here and see what's up. Okay, I see that elite pack over there. I would like to go down, gather these up, and drag it up there. So let's see if I can do that. Oh, I didn't even notice a door was right there until right now, so that's pretty good. And we should be getting this uh, floor here done shortly. Once I get these tubs down. Alright guys, you can go down now. I swear, like, the bigger and fatter they are, the longer they take to go down. And, let's see here. I hit my cold cycle. Oh, okay. And they explode too. I didn't even realize that until right now. And, yeah, I really don't want to test my theory of I can stand in that explosion. Because I know the moment I do, I will die. And that will really irritate me. Because I still do want my levels for my gems. So I can just, you know, augment my gear with it. Okay, so, uh, I really don't like these floors at all. I, this is amongst my least favorite floors, but luckily I'm almost done. Hopefully there's a, an elite pack just yonder, and we can do what we need to do. Let's see, what, oh, that's a shield pylon? Okay. Uh, maybe I should have saved it, but there's an elite pack right there, so, you know, I'm kind of glad that I grabbed the shield pylon right now, so I can just end this, because this, Elite pack should not be able to handle my damage right now. Yep, and there goes my fire cycle. Grab all the orbs. I don't know. I feel like I the elite or the rift garden should already been spawned. I felt like there's a lot more mobs right there than there actually was. I guess because I'm at 99%. So okay, cool. I hit that mob so hard that I made the screen shake. All right, so I should have enough time for my shield to be up during the duration of this. Rift Guardian fight? We'll have to find out. Okay, so I'm doing okay amounts of damage to this guy, but I wonder how he's going to hit me, or how hard he's going to hit me when my shield runs out, because it's getting kind of close. I'm kind of glad I have it, because I have a feeling he's going to hurt just a little bit. We'll find out shortly, because he's not going to be dead. Oh, wow. Yeah, he almost one-shot me. That was close, but I'm going to get him before he gets me. Alright, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't already... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then smash that like button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.